welcome to a new episode of the Dragon's Lair. Um, I was not expecting this today, so I figured, okay, since it's here, might as well do it. That's the reason the camera angle's a little different. Um, I didn't get all my camera stuff out and set it all up. Um, but, um, for the new people here, um, welcome. Um, hit the thumbs up button. Um, hit the bell icon, because then you'll be notified of when I do more videos um, and hit the subscribe button and then go back and check my other videos out there are a bunch of unboxing videos there are some other videos like events that I've gone to um, music events um, Ren Fairs, Highland Games a little bit of everything um, and for the people returning welcome back so, for the new people, this is Dungeon Crate. It's a monthly subscription box um, for tabletop role players, role playing groups, individuals, or anything. Um, most of the time, you get vi um, dice or figures, but you always get an advent, uh, like a little side quest adventure or an actual campaign that you can use. Um, it's 36 bucks. That, I think that's including the shipping. I'll put a link down below um, so you can check them out. You don't have to buy every month. You don't have to subscribe to them yearly. You could do it month to month. And you could check out their online store because they also have on, an online store and they have a lot of cool stuff in it that you don't get in the box. Um... And then you also could buy individual stuff that was in the box that you would like to have more of. Um, but yeah, I'll put a link down below and I'll put a link down below my Instagram so you can see a full photo of everything that was in this month's box. You can check out my photos from the other subscription boxes as well. And I'll put a link down below my website so you can see which um, subscription boxes I subscribe to most of the time or which ones I used to and don't anymore and you can check those out um, you could also check out who I am if you want so let's get started so come ship here oh. let me close it for but it comes ship in just in, the, in this box which looks like a little dungeon crate and they're great for storage. I keep a lot of dice in mine. And then it comes with the um, shipping paper. Okay, so first we have a mysterious bag of D6 dice. And it says it includes 10 D6. That's cool because right now we're actually in the middle, uh, my gaming group is actually in the middle of doing GURPS. And GURPS is a D6 system. So let's see. Well, those are kind of cool. So I have another. Yeah. Rolled. Half rolled good, half rolled bad. Because on D6, or on in GURPS, you want the lowest number. So ones, see, that would be a crit right there. That would be almost a failure. That would be okay. And having three D6s, three six, three sixes would be a, a failure. So that's cool. New set of D six or new set of D six dice. Next, we have the Vermin Spider Swarm. So a little thing of spider swarms from um, Dark Haven Bone Collection, and it's from Reaper Miniatures, which is one of the top line miniature companies now. And Bone is, I think. 3D print it or just quickly mold it, something like that. But there you have uh, a couple sw spider swarms, which is always cool. More creatures is always a good thing. 
Uh, we get. Oh, sorry. Okay, got a couple of stickers. We got Dungeons and Birds. Okay, that looks kind of cool. And then we have a Gone Rogue, so a Rogue sticker. Which actually works. I usually play rogues and paladins, so. Next, we got the little code. Um, if you wanted to know what was in this crate, what each item actually is, there's a you decipher a code on the back and then go online. And then you can use them as bookmarks. And then this month, this is the first time in three years that I've been a subscriber of this company that we ever got a geek coffee or tea. And this is a geek grind coffee company, Elven Enlightenment Canopy Blend. Medowin. Medowin roast, roast. I don't drink coffee, but I actually am willing to try this out to see what it's like. Because I, there is a tea company that makes geeky teas. And here's a little thing about the Geek Grind, the coffee and tea company. That's kind of cool. It's a little invite card saying to check them out. And you get 20% off. And then this, I'm not sure what it is. But we do have another of those portable travel character sheets with your nameplate. So that's always cool. It, it looks like an iron cross or some form in our, of an iron cross. Okay, it's a fidget spinner. Yay. Okay, that's yay. Okay, another thing that, to note is that, yes, just because I don't like an item in the box doesn't mean one of my gamer, my members of my gaming group won't. And the things I don't like in the box, I usually give them to, give them to the gaming group. And most, of the, and most of the time, they like them. So, yes, there are stuff in the boxes once in a while that I get that I don't like. But I will usually give them to a game, one of my members of my gaming group, and they'll like it. Or they'll say they like it. Okay, next we have an Ancient Encounter, level 3 and 5. So we got the encounter here. This is a, like a little small side quest encounter. And you can get the little dungeon map. And then we get the actual little mini adventure for level 5. Okay, it's the sword in the dark. Sorry, again. A sword in the dark. Level 5 encounter written by Jeff. Kevin Coffee. So you got these. This is most. Of, sometimes you get a little booklet adventure, and sometimes you get the little cards, which is cool. And then you'll usually get an extra card for the adventure. The level five, so it doesn't give me what difficulty rating it is. Okay, in this adventure, most of these adventures can be used for other RPGs. You don't have to use it for 5th edition, even though it's designed for 5th edition, but it can be used for any RPG system out there. So if you wanted to, you can actually use this for Warhammer, Fantasy Roleplay, GURPS, um, Pendragon, um, Pathfinder. So, 
And then with the adventure, you always get an NPC and a and a magic item. So there is the NPC and the magic item. So the NPC is the Goblin Hulk, small humanoid, goblin, neutral, evil. So that's cool. And the Sword of Grey Malkin. It doesn't say that it's a... It says it's a magic item, but it doesn't say... Attacks with the sword score a critical hit on a roll of 19 or 20. Okay. When you score a critical hit with this weapon, the target takes an extra 2d8 slashing damage. Okay, so it's not really a magic item. It's more of an air. A legendary uh, a item handed down. So... So there's that. There's this month's Dungeon Crate. I think the only... The only thing I'm not really impressed with was the fidget spinner. But I have a friend in my gaming group that loves fidget spinners, so he'll get it. So, um, it's Monday, so I hope you guys all have a good week. And I'll see you next time I'm, re I'm posting a video. Um, go check out my, my website. Go check out Instagram. Go check out their website because, um... With coins, you get coin. You get two coins on each box, and I gotta resend the envelope. The post office didn't like the way I sent the envelope, and I was gonna order a couple of things, and that's originally what I think was I thought this was gonna be. So, but then I saw the envelope saying "return to sender," so I'll have to resend it. But you can go on to their store, to the Dungeon Crate store, and they have a section just to turn in your dungeon coins, and you can get certain stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, I think that's about it. I hope everybody has a good week. See you all later. And enjoy.